Let's talk about eating frogs. No, Ribbit, it's not a culinary reference. You're sick. Sit right here. Mark Twain talked about eating frogs first years ago, and then organizational gurus glommed on to the idea. So what is this frog we're talking about? Well, a frog is a yucky, icky task that you really don't want to do. And they call it icky because, well, don't tell Ribbit, but they're kind of icky to eat. Although, I hear they're good breaded and fried. No, no, Ribbit, not you, not you. So what are some of your frogs? Writing my essay for globalization class, washing the dishes, taking baths. Okay, eating your frogs first is a great idea. It means you get it out of the way, you feel rewarded, and you can go forward and conquer the world. But what happens if you just can't get yourself to eat your frog? I'll tell you what happens. That huge frog is at the top of your to-do list. You procrastinate, and then you get sucked into the vortex that is YouTube. Ah, uh, psychos on YouTube. Maybe the shower scene. Maybe that counts for taking a bath? It does not count for taking a bath. So what do you do? Well, you break the rules. So what if the organizational gurus are right and eating your frog first is a great idea? If you can't get started, Choose something else, something smaller, something tastier. Ribbit says, eat chicken. The idea is get the heck started. So what's better, breaking the rules or flunking algebra? For tips on how to get the heck started, check out my book, The Little Guide to Not Being Dumb. Get it here on Kindle. Click here to get it in paperback. If you're on a mobile device, those links might not show. You can find the links below. Like my Facebook page for daily learning goodness and feel free to subscribe to this video.